As a professor emerita in York University's Faculty of Environmental Studies, I am co-teaching my dream course, a workshop on environmental arts and food sovereignty with two fabulous Costa Rican artists. Here I am with environmental artist Raquel Bolaños at a forum she organized last year with farmers and activists. This year, she is doing graduate work in York's Faculty of Environmental Studies, but will return to Costa Rica for our course. My other co-teacher is singer-songwriter-healer Guadalupe Urbina, shown here in her permaculture garden in rural Costa Rica. The Las Nubes project brought her to Toronto last March for a concert at the Lula Lounge, and she also sang at the International Women's Day Rally. Our course begins with a day-long orientation in late April or early May at Black Creek Community Farm, where we learn about food sovereignty close to home. We start talking about food and build our group by cooking a collective meal together. Then we meet up again on May 10th at the Las Nubes Eco Campus in Southern Costa Rica to discuss readings on the two main topics, environmental arts and food sovereignty. Throughout the course, we analyze the corporate industrial food system by visiting agribusinesses like Del Monte's pineapple plantations and supermarkets, where we investigate the stories behind the products we consume. To learn from food justice and food sovereignty initiatives, we visit farmers markets, where we talk with small producers and test their produce. Through field visits, we learn directly about the challenges small farmers face. This year, we'll focus on the role of water in both agribusiness and regenerative food practices. In the land of rainforests, what are the water issues Costa Ricans face? Raquel is an active member of Rios Vivos, an environmental group that defends the rivers against large hydroelectric projects. She will tap our creativity through both individual paintings as well as a collective mural on the role of water in agribusiness that we'll paint in the farmer's market in San Isidro. In Longo Mai, Guadalupe will reflect on the sacred, ceremonial, and healing qualities of water. And she'll share the stone memory project of images based on ancient petroglyphs in the area. We'll have a chance to work in a permaculture garden and to interview farmers and help construct a musical sculpture for irrigating the gardens. As important as what we'll be focusing on is how we'll be learning, using a popular education approach with different art forms. It is a creative and a collective process, building solidarity both within our group as well as with the community people we work with. Are you ready to take the plunge?